It was stupid. Timmy, I was drunk. You gave money. Would you, would you have given the money to Roman Sheriff now? Let me ask you this. That's a good oh, question. Yes or no? Would you give the money to Roman Sheriff, yes or no? No, 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 no. Just answer yes the no. fucking question, Tim. No. Hey, guys. Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. I'm making this video here. I just wanted to talk about this disaster that has happened, which is with Nico and Tim Wright. And I want to try and fix this mess up. And I, I, I just thought I'd be honest. I'm not, I haven't got an agenda. I don't have notes. I'm just speaking from the heart. I'm speaking from the heart. So basically what's happened is uh, Tim Wright's made a bit of a dick of himself uh, with Nico. And he's alienated himself from the cartel. That's Paul Thorpe. Uh, Roman Sheriff and uh, Nico and I never thought these dudes were a cartel at all they're just a couple of watch dealers but the thing is right I thought it's time that I step in and make this video because I know all the individuals in this now I gotta tell you Timmy Timmy's not the best of businessmen Timmy has been extremely kind to me. When I was in London, uh, when I was almost arrested at Heathrow Airport, link, link, link if I can remember, Timmy's the man who came and helped me out. He calmed me down. He helped me get on the plane and get the fuck out of London. So you can't really be angry at Timmy. Timmy's got a heart of gold. He's a really good man. Now. What kind of happened is Timmy wants to prove himself to me and he wants to get the kudos. And when we were in London, Nico and BQ Watches both agreed to do some advertising with me, which was a big coup. I'm only a small YouTuber. To get some paid sponsorship really, really means a lot to me. And um, BQ Watchers, that's Spencer, he's actually agreed to do some advertising with me. He's paid me, but he's put it on hold. And Nico said, yeah, yeah, send me an invoice, we'll get it all done. Now, i got to be totally honest with you, Nico is a lovely man. I love my Nico. Tim <coughs> was a little bit tenacious in making sure he went through with the transaction. And that may have rubbed a few people in the industry the wrong way. And I, I'd like to say sorry if Timmy did do that. Let me tell you something. I remember many years ago, I had a guy who had a business. He did pergolas and conservatories and extensions. And I said to him, what's it like to be a salesman? I was thinking about jumping ships, selling a product like that. He said, you've got to remember one thing. When I send my salesman out on a lead, I want one of two things. The salesman comes back with the order or I get a phone call from the police saying, one of your salesmen is here and won't leave the house. That's the only two things that are acceptable. And I thought about that and thought, shit, you know what? <coughs> That's the way you get success. Now, with Timmy, he's desperately trying to bring the Nico into the Archie fold. And I really wanted to put a one minute advertisement into every video I produce to promote Pride and Pinion. I really did want to do this. Now, unfortunately, since we went to London, a lot of things have happened in the watch market. Okay? The watch market is, we've got this disastrous war in Ukraine, which. I was hoping would be ended. We got uncertainty in the stock market. Crypto seems to be like a yo-yo. And we've got some, we've actually got some hesitation in the market. We're seeing some prices fall on some of the hyped models. Now, with Nico himself there, he's, he's a good, I classify Nico as a friend. He's a good guy. I actually contacted him 
twice and I, I emailed him and I said, I basically said, hey, Nico, man, I, I was very polite and nice. I said, hey, man, just tell me what's happening. If you don't want to advertise with me, I completely understand. Uh, I mean, I understand circumstances change. Just let me know. And I've heard absolutely nothing out of Nico. He hasn't... I mean, Nico, I don't mind. You don't want to advertise with me? That's okay. That's okay. But you've got to tell me, man. Just be. Just have the conversation with me. And I am more than reason. I'm happy to... That's okay. You don't want to advertise with me? No worries. But you've got to have that conversation. You've got to talk to me. So Timmy... Timmy's been overzealous. Look. Look. I, I got to be totally honest with you. You know, I like to. This is totally honest with you, okay? I, I was paying Timmy a, a thirty percent commission to get this this sale over the line, okay? There we go. I was giving him a commission, okay? Because I haven't got time to do all the admin work. I said, Timmy, if you get this deal over the line, there's thirty percent in it for you. And he's got very tenacious, and I can see it's it may have upset a few egos. But look, Timmy is my man. I love Timmy. I do love the Timmy, Timmy Wright. And I understand he can be a bit of a dickhead. Yes, I agree. But just understand, he's only trying his best for his master. I'm his master. He's my protege. Timmy Wright is my protege. I'm, you know, just don't get upset. Now, what I find really upsetting is that Paul Thorpe has gone along and seems to... Timmy went down to Vegas. They really treated Timmy like shit. They didn't want to be seen with Timmy. They didn't want to talk to Timmy. That's really quite rude, Paul. And I say this, Paul, as a friend, because I... I classify you as a really, really good friend, Paul. I'm talking to Paul Thorpe. And I'm a little disappointed that you guys didn't have a quiet word with Timmy and say, look, Timmy, just just drop the, the Nico thing. And, and and everything would have been fine. But you you guys clam up. Nico, you should have come to me and said, I don't want to advertise with you anymore. Just leave it. I'll come back to you. No worries. But you didn't. You didn't say a fucking thing. It. I, I, how do I know what you want to do? And as for Timmy, i got to be honest with you. I really feel sorry for him. Timmy is a fucking idiot at times. I'll be honest with you. Timmy is a real fucking idiot. And what did Timmy do? What did Timmy do? Let me tell you this. The guy is a delusional Fantasist. He's a pleaser. You know, he's got the business acumen of a of, of, of a fucking how do I put it? Timmy has got the business acumen of a he's just fucking hopeless he doesn't chase up. I owe him money, he's never chased me. Fuck me dead. I mean I, I, I'm very I'm a I'm a pedantic sort of I'm a middle aged guy. Of course I am pedantic. That's just how I am. You've got to understand, I'm pedantic because I'm middle-aged and to me, I don't like surprises. I like to know what's happening. I want to be in control. I'm a control freak. And i got to be totally honest with you. i got to be totally honest with you. Testing, testing, testing. It's just how it goes. And uh, I, I just want to say this. I just want to say this now, guys. Timmy, can he can be a bit of a fucking idiot. Timmy can be a fucking idiot at times. He can. Timmy can be a dickhead. And what really annoys me with Timmy is that that fucking idiot, right, he's trying to be a pleaser. He wanted to win the favours of that, you know, that Roman Sheriff guy. And Roman Sheriff's got a massive fucking ego, ego, ego. And what does Timmy do? Timmy was raising money. He was, me and Timmy had a Ukrainian appeal going. <clears throat> By the way, I've sent over a thousand dollars to Ukrainians to help them, okay? And what does Timmy do? Timmy, me and Timmy, I had this idea. 
I wanted to help Ukrainians in Ukraine. What does Timmy do? Timmy fucking gives the money to that fucking egomaniac Roman sheriff. $1,500, which Timmy, Timmy's a stupid businessman. Not only did he not take out money for costs, but the fucking moron gives it to Roman sheriff, and then Roman sheriff treats him like a prick. Roman Sheriff, you should be ashamed of yourself. How you treat Timmy. Timmy donated $1,500, which is money he couldn't really afford to give out. He gave you this money, and you fucking treated him like chopped liver. You are a prick. You are a fucking nasty... You don't fucking change the controls here. I've got a statement to make here. Roman, you were an asshole. You treated Timmy like chop fucking liver, and I can't fucking forgive you for that. That is a real asshole. I think you should give that $1,500 back to fucking Timmy. That's what I fucking think. You treat him like shit when he's put in $1,500 to your pathetic fucking charity. What a cunt act. I'm just telling you, what a fucking low, horrible act to do. And that's the way I feel. That is why I'm so angry. So Timmy's a dickhead, but I just want to say, Nico, you've got to fucking send me an email and say, Arch, I don't want to advertise. That's it. Instead of being such an aloof fucking prick, you fucking didn't come out and tell me. You just, you just say nothing. That's what fucking pisses me off. See, I gave her. I gave the money before I Timmy. even knew about the whole. Timmy, the, yeah, I learned stop. about the whole chat, thing happening in Vegas. One ninety nine. Archie, went... look pissed. What's on your mind, bro? We're just getting to it now. Timmy, look into the camera. Would you donate the money to Roman Sheriff now if you knew what you know now? Yes or no? No, I would not. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and today guys, I'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pruder channels. Who am I talking about? Watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. Check them out guys, jump online, check out watchshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017. Worldwide shipping and distribution. Over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory. Stock in hand. And 90 plus different brands. New and pre-owned. Now, the good thing about watchshopping.com. Trusted by over 4,000 reviews on Chrono24 and Trustpilot. Your one-stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires. Please guys, check out whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury and check out whatshopping.com. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 
50 US dollars. I'll re I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area. And I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon. Look down below and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.